more than half a century ago, in the, to the 1960s, when we started using computers for the first time in Sri Lanka. During we decided to pers- purchase an ICL 1900 series computer, which has uh, facilities to do scientific and engineering work as well. Dr. Kula Singh said, use it profitably. That's all he said. We decided to computerize the payroll system of the State Engineering Corporation. So that was our first effort in this country. The first computer in the country bought by the State Engineering Corporation. I had the good fortune of running that computer for the first time in the country and I had the I was lucky to have systems analysts and computer programmers who are who are excellent at that time. Our next uh, program that we embarked on was an inventory control system. So next, our next project, the inventory control system was done to ensure that all the building materials required at a given site are available for the construction to proceed without any um, stoppage of work or due to lack of material and so on. So we started computerizing the O-level results. When the O-level exam was held in December, the government took more than six months to release the results. So we wrote a program, a computer program to release the results and they gave us the date and the marks of students and on the 13th day we released the results of 360,000 candidates in 13 days less than the two weeks released and successfully and this was done I think in 1968 the first time that we I did this, uh, 67 or I think 68, 69 that time. And it was uh, like a miracle, you know, and people liked it so much because the results were released so quick and there were no errors in that, uh, in those results. Our next uh, effort was in the design of buildings. And the first building that was designed by the computer for the first time in Sri Lanka is the uh, building of the Ceylon Technical College, a 10 story building which is which was constructed uh, uh, by the side of the red building on Maradana, the Ceylon Technical College and that was the uh, first building uh, that was designed by computer. Then he had a pet project. He want to build a chaitya at Kalutaran. It has to be a shell structure where you should be able to go inside and from outside it must look like a normal Dagebo chaitya. So that was a real achievement and the, the crux of that was that the stresses and strains obtained in the model related fairly closely with the fig, uh, calculated values. So we were certain that it worked well and that was a major achievement at that time. Today I don't think it will be a major achievement if you do that today, but I am talking this was done in 1968 and 1969. There was a gentleman, a biometrician who came from the Coconut Research Institute. And he said, we have a coconut estate uh, belonging to the Coconut Research Institute. We want to predict the output of coconuts in this estate. Can you do this using your computer? Right? So I said, of course, why not? We'll do it. The rain pattern before the crop. 
and that's those are the variables and uh, coconut output mainly depends on that and we want this done so we got the data they had data for 20 years the rainfall and the output for 20 years so we wrote a program it was a uh, multi regression analysis many mathematicians know Thing. Now it's very common. Now we get to various to more advanced things. So multiplication analysis was the basis to solve that problem, and we were able to tell them, okay, this will be the crop for this rain pattern. And I stayed at the State Engineering Corporation for one year and nine months. All this was done, what I spoke to you was done within one year and nine months and I left the state in the cooperation and went back to the University of Pavilion. After going to Pavilion, actually in two months time I was appointed Professor of Electrical Engineering at the uh, Silwan College of Technology at Moratu, which later became the University of uh, Moratu. The number of graduates, so earlier graduates were uh, Computer science or computer engineering or computer science and engineering, very small numbers. We spearheaded a thing to start something to produce 1,000 graduates a year in computing or in information technology. So, with the assistance of the computer science department and the computing services center at the Murutu University. Uh, there's a very enthusiastic uh, lecture at that time, uh, Dr. Lalit Damagi. Uh, he and I put some uh, papers to the council of the university to start an institute as a part of the University of Murutu solely to produce IT graduates. Uh, years as chairman, then I retired at the age of 80 and uh, now it's six years after my retirement, the SLIIT has gone beyond my expectations.